guys, welcome back to my Thursday channel where I do budget-friendly home decor. I've got a lot of cute, quick and easy fall decor pieces to show you today. If you want to how to make them, stick around. i show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay, for this one, I'm just using an ornament I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm using a couple wooden rings that I got at Hobby Lobby, and then I'm using a Dollar Tree candlestick holder. And I'm just going to attach these rings to the top of the candlestick holder, starting with the largest of the two first. And I'm using E6000 glue along with hot glue just to hold it in place until it dries. Just make sure you line them up and they're, and they're even. And then attach a smaller ring right on top of that one. And then I'm just going to attach my ornament right on top of that. Just make sure that your opening is facing upward. And try to make sure it's level. And then I'm going to paint the entire thing with a Rust-Oleum sandstone paint. And you can get that at Lowe's um, or, or Home Depot too. Both of those have them. Just go ahead and paint it the entire thing. Okay, now that it's painted, I'm just going to come back in with a little bit of jute. And I'm just going to wrap it around the center part between the ornament and that ring. Just kind of give it a little bit of separation there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the very top. Just make sure that your the um, end piece ends in the back the same as the one you just put on there. And then I'm just going to fill it with some dried flowers. I'm using some wheat and some other flowers that I got at, um, at Hobby Lobby. Pretty simple arrangement. Didn't cost a lot of money and it turned out really pretty. Okay, for our next one, we're going to use one of the Dollar Tree uh, Styrofoam pumpkins, and we're just going to cut an opening in the top. And I'm cutting an opening probably about the size of a, I would say a quarter. And then just going to go ahead and paint it with um, Mod Podge, and I'm taking one inch by nine inch strips of fabric, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue those on. Now make sure that you run your finger down that to make sure it is flat on that pumpkin. And then we're going to come back in and just keep adding strips, and we're going to overlap the first strip and continue to go until you get them all on there. This is a pretty easy project. You can do this with a lot of different fabric. It just really turns out nice, but kind of stretch that so it is flat. Okay, once you get it completely filled in, Then we're going to add a stem. And I got these stems at um, on Amazon. I'll give you the link for it. Just go ahead and push it on in there. You want to make sure it's snug. And then I'm coming in with this um, floral um, covered wire. And I changed my mind after I put it on there. And I ended up taking it off. But if you're going to do that, just wrap it around a dowel pin until you get the, the um, shape that you want. And then I'm taking some um, jute, some brown colored jute. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie it around the front the back and then I'm going to tie it around the front and tie a bow on it. And then I'm just taking two leaves that I got just at a, uh, from a random flower arrangement. I'm going to glue those two together and I'm just going to attach those to the pumpkin. This is a real quick and easy project and you can use it with any kind of fabric that you want. And then here is where I took mine off. But I think it turned out really cute. Okay, for this next one, I'm just taking two vases that I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm taking some white um, chalk Krylon paint. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean my vases with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure that anything that's on them is gone before I paint it. Then I'm going to set them over the top of two paper cups, and I'm going to take them outside and spray them. And these turn out really pretty. Then I'm just going to take some um, floral foam and I'm just going to go ahead and put it inside. And I'm coming up to where it flares out at the top. That's how high I'm putting mine in. Okay, 
Okay, next I'm just going to attach these little faux leather tags that I got at Dollar Tree. You get two of them in a pack. And then I'm going to pull the back of them up flush with the jar and I'm going to glue the front down. I just want to make sure that they are, you know, flush with the jar. Now be careful when you're pulling on these because they are kind of um, thin and they will snap. But I'm just untying this. I'm going to pull it up as high as I can and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue it in. And then I'm just going to tie it back off in the back and then I'm going to put a little glue to hold that together. And then I'm doing the same thing with the second one. Next I'm going to go ahead and start adding some um, pompous grass to it. Just kind of pushing it down in there to get it full. Kind of go high in the, in the middle and then just kind of go a little bit low in the front and a little bit um, low on the sides. Just kind of get it filled in real good. Alright, there you have that one. That one turned out really super cute. And then on the next one, I'm just going to attach wheat to it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start high in the, in the center and do lower on the front and the sides. Just kind of get it really filled in because you want to make sure that you cover every bit of that um, green down there. And then I'm coming in with a little Spanish moss just to kind of cover it up on, in the center. And then just keep adding your wheat till you get how much you want. And I put mine, I filled mine up pretty full. And I got that wheat and the, and the moss, I got that at Hobby Lobby. And both of these were really quick and easy to do and very um, economical. And they really look beautiful. Okay, on this next one, we're going to use one of the little j pumpkin jars from Dollar Tree and one of the little bottle caps from Dollar Tree. And I'm taking my lid off and I'm going to center it on the flat part and I'm just going to go ahead and draw a circle around it. And then I'm going to take some E6000 glue and I'm just going to glue my cap to it. And I put a little bit of hot glue on it too to hold it in place until it dries. And this is on the bottom side of that bottle cap. Next I'm going to paint it with some Krylon Fusion paint, both the front and the back. And while it's drying, I'm going to take some um, pine cones that I got at, at Amazon and I'm going to go ahead and sift them so I can get all the stuff off the bottom because I don't want all that stuff in my jar. And then I'm just going to carefully fill my jar full. And I'll give you the link for these where I got them. They have them at Hobby Lobby too. Okay, then I'm just going to set those aside and I'm going to get a, take a candle and I'm going to take a piece of uh, burlap ribbon and I'm just going to wrap it around the candle. And I got these candles at um, Hobby Lobby. And then I'm just going to come in with one of the Dollar Tree um, leaves and that I cut that off of one of their um, arrangements and I'm just going to glue it to the front. And I'm just going to glue right down the center because I don't want too much glue on both sides. And then I'm just going to take a piece of jute and I'm just going to wrap it around it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out enough jute to make it um, a little doubled up or tripled up so it's a little bit thick. And just go ahead and take it and wrap it around it a few times and then tie that off. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess strings. Okay, then I'm going to take my bottle cap that I already got painted and I'm just going to go ahead and attach it back to that jar. Okay, next I'm just going to take some jute and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom of the lid and I'm going to go around it twice. And then before I glued it down, I decided I would go ahead and take a lighter and click and get all the fringe off of it because I didn't want to take a chance of burning my um, little bottle cap with the flame. So go ahead and do this before you wrap it around. So go ahead and wrap it around and just glue it in. Ok, 
Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put my candle on there. And I make sure that your candle is on the side facing the opposite side of where that you just um, glued that jute. Now I'm going to go ahead and take some reindeer moss and I'm just going to glue it in. Now I tested it up there at first and then I decided to dump it and then go ahead and glue it in. But just make sure you get it completely filled in. And I got that at uh, Michael's. All right, just get it really filled in there. And it really didn't take that much of this. Okay, this one turned out super cute. If you are enjoying the video, be sure and give me a like because it helps my channel and it helps me to get my video in front of other people just like you. Thank you so much. Okay, next I'm just going to take these two votive candle holders and I'm taking the Krylon sandstone paint and I just painted them. Then I'm going to take some jute and I'm going to go ahead and um, do the same thing that I did before and I'm going to go ahead and get all the little frayed ends off of it with the lighter. And we're just making some pumpkins. So just go ahead and go glue inside and we're just going to go all the way up around until it's level with the top of that, um, that candle holder. Okay, then I'm just going to glue in one of those wooden stems and I'll give you the link for those. I got those on Amazon and we're just going to kind of keep going around until it's completely glued in. Just kind of go to the outside edge of the jute until you can start going towards the inside. And then just go ahead and trim that off and go ahead and push that on down in there. I took my scissors and just kind of pushed it in there and then I'm going to add a little bit of glue just to cover it up. And then I'm taking two little green leaves from a random arrangement that I had, gluing them together, and I'm just going to put them right over the top of that raw edge of that jute. And do the same thing with the second one. These turned out really cute. I really love the neutrals during this time of year. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use a vase that I got at Hobby Lobby, and then I'm going to use these little um, beads that I got over the Dollar Tree, and they already have an adhesive backing on it. And I'm cutting them at one and a half inch strips. And I'm going to glue these to the bottom of the vase. Just go ahead and cut the little fringed edge off of there. And then, and then go ahead and glue it on. And I'm just coming up just a little bit above the bottom edge of that. And then do the same thing with a second one and we're just going to kind of line them up and then you'll have to cut the edge of this one off a little bit because it'll be a little bit long. And don't worry so much about getting them completely lined up because I'm going to come back in and I'm going to put another little strip to kind of seal all that off. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and cut um, four strips with just two beads only. And we're going to cover up that seam where we ha had the two meet. So go ahead and go straight up that seam, straight up. And we're going to do this in four spots on this. We're going to go opposite side on that next one. And then we're going to center between the two on the next one. So just glue it right over the top edge of that bead that seam and make sure that it's going straight up. You don't want to make sure that you don't get it in an angle. And then do the same thing on the side that mirrors that one. And then we're going to go in the center of each one of those and glue two more on. Okay, after we get all this glued on, I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray it with a Krylon Fusion Matte Black Paint, the entire piece. But I'm not, going to glue, I'm not going to paint inside, just on the outside only. And I'll show you, I'm going to put it on top of a cup so it's off the table when I paint. Okay, now that it's been painted, I'm going to go ahead and take some gold metallic paint and I'm just going to start rubbing the little um, beads on this or the pearls. Just kind of take your time on this because you only want to make sure that you just get the top edge of the pearls. And 
and just keep going until you get the entire piece covered. All right, next I'm going to take a, some jute and I'm going to go ahead and um, tear off a pretty good or cut off a pretty good size piece because I'm going to um, triple my yarn for my ribbon and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this. I'm going to go ahead and um, clean off the frays. Now work quick on this thinner because you will burn it if you're not careful. Now that I've got several strands together, I'm just going to go ahead and tie a ribbon on here. I'm tie it in a bow and then I'm just going to cut off the excess. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and attach some um, floral um, foam down inside of it. Now I'm going to put some lights on here, so when I show you here in a second how much foam to use, go ahead and put a bunch of foam in there, but you're going to need to stop before you get to a certain level. And this is where I'm going to show you here just in a second how how much you need because you need to make sure you have room if you're going to put lights in it for them to be hidden. And I got those lights at Amazon. I'll give you the link for those too. They actually work off a of remote control, which is really cool. Okay, go ahead and light them up, and then we're just going to start um, wrapping them around these leaves. Now I got this leaf bundle at um, Hobby Lobby, and they're on sale right now. So, and you can use any kind of leaf bundle you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up and down each one of the. Um, limbs on here until I have it completely finished. And I only needed one light string to get this whole project done. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and set it down inside of my vase. And then I'm going to add, um, I'm going to put my light source in there, my battery pack in there, and then I'm going to put some peat moss around it. But th this one actually does like 10 different types of lights. And then just put the Spanish moss. I said peat moss, but I meant Spanish moss just to kind of cover all that up. There you have it. And this one turned out really, really cute. All right. If you like this video, be sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe and get noted and hit the bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.